Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and it is huge. This letter alone is 50 inches tall. Uh, he has a CNC router that he's going to cut this out, and he's trying to get, he's contoured the letters, and he wants these three points, uh, seven, five, one, Point three seven five or point three seven five holes uh, around the contour. The contour's already been broken apart, so we're going to move it over. And I'm going to maybe do two videos because if you want it on this contour line, this would work. Go to Windows Dockers Properties and under and because this is a curve and not a text, go right here and it is three point or. 334.96, so really 335 circles, or 335 inches. He wants them two inches apart. So let's find those two small holes. Doesn't really matter how far apart they are, but I always like to separate them. So we need, what was it, 335 divided by two is, 167 is 168, really. Let's go with 68. 168, so remember that. Let's take our two circles, go to the blend tool under effects, blend, and we've already got two, and we needed 168, so we're going to go 166. Hit apply. Go right here to new path and click it on the path. Go up here to blend along full path and hit apply. Now, I don't really know the reasoning behind the holes. So it's not perfectly on the corners, but you can, you can always change that. And there's several ways you can do the blend. Uh, if they have to be exactly two inches apart, or close to there, you're never going to get it perfect. Let's get the parallel dimension tool. And we're point 1.99 on that one. We're 1.99 on that one. A while ago, I just used one less hole when I was making sure I could do this, and I came up at 2.01. I mean, we're 1.99 across the board. Let's go one more check. Let me zoom in here so maybe you can see it. Parallel dimension tool, and it'll tell you the center to the center, and we're 1.99 inches apart. Now, like I said, if you need it perfect, like if you need a hole here and here, you can always go, whoop, and I really need to get rid of these measurements to make it look more aesthetically, I guess would be the word. Get a little rid of one more. Now grab it all, go up to object and break, break it apart, go up to object and ungroup it. And then you could, I need one more measurement right in there. Didn't really matter. Sorry about that, my calculator button is right near my delete button. So if you had to move, you know, if this wanted to, you know, cause this uh, part of the E is, you know, 2.87. So you could do one of two things. You could bring this one down till it matches and it would be more. Now, of course, these are gonna be interf interfered with a little bit. Um, but you could do several things here to make it even between those two. You could go to blend and just blend one time and it'll put one evenly. You can go here, blend just one time and it's more evenly. It's never going to be perfect unless you have a straight line that's exactly the length you're trying for. You know, here's pretty good. I just don't, I don't know. He did a really good job of sending me the file. I just don't know what the holes are for. I mean, this is a big uh, letter. He's even got some as a, 
a manger scene, but I would go through there and put holes in my corners unless there's some reason you want them spaced out perfectly apart. And the same thing right here, we're going to, because we moved it, we're too close to this one. So just even them up with one blend between them. Pretty cool drawing. Anyway, and then I don't know if he's using the contour or not, but then just nudge that back over. Now I'm going to wait, wait, make one more video if he needed the holes between these two lines. That to me would make a little bit more sense. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.